everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Mary, this is Happily Ever Ash, and welcome to Vlogmas Day Something. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Happy Day Something of Vlogmas, happy December. I hope that you are having a holly jolly, good Christmas holiday time. Um, today I want to do a pretty Christmassy theme video and that is how I am gifting and shopping small this season. Now, by no means are all of my gifts local or small, but I did want to highlight some of the ways that I am seeking to shop local this year and how I'm gifting that. So my first idea is by no means groundbreaking and that is gift cards. But hear me out. I find that a lot of times it's really easy to give like a Starbucks gift card or an Amazon gift card and I think that's awesome if that's where your loved one is going to get some goodies. But I was trying to kind of um, find some local places um, that maybe hit a niche for some of my loved ones and the one that I am most excited to give and I think will be a lot of fun is a gift card for my brother-in-law and it's just in this green thing I'm holding it up um, funny story my sister's name is Morgan and her fiance's name is also Morgan so I put his last name on the card because it's kind of confusing that we have two Morgans in our household it confuses Judah a lot he's like both of you. <laughs> um, but I got him a gift card to a local board game shop. I think this is so much fun because he and my sister love to play games. It's something we love to do when we get together as a family. And so this is something a little more curated to him. I know he's going to love to go in and pick out a game, but it's also a way to support a local shop. And I also get to give a gift card and not gift a game that maybe he already has or one that he's not super interested in. So I'm giving him a gift card to the board game shop and I think it'll be so much fun for him to go. So this was a place that I didn't even know existed in my town until my um, soon-to-be brother-in-law brought it up that they like to go and like look around and so we've been a couple times and I got my husband a gift card for his birthday and it's just a really fun thing and I really want to support having a game shop in our town I think that's amazing so yeah maybe check out and see if there's some more like niche businesses in your area that you're not aware of because I definitely wasn't aware of this one until a year or so ago. So I think he's gonna love that. I think they're gonna love go picking out a game. It's kind of like a little date night for them too. So I'm very excited to give this one to him. I think he's going to love it. And then for my daddy-o, he is also getting a gift card um, along with a little pair of cordless Bluetooth headphones, um, but I'm getting him a Libro FM um, few month subscription and I think he's going to love this. I don't know if he's ever listened to an audiobook, but he's super into learning and history and I think he will love them. He also commutes very far every day, like he drives a couple hours um, to and from work. So I think that he would really love audiobooks, but they live in a pretty small town where there's not a super extensive library system, so I just don't think he's had the opportunity to explore it. So I'm giving him a Libro FM subscription and you're like hmm how is that shopping local or shopping small well Libro FM is an audiobook subscription where you can choose the bookstore that some of the proceeds go to and so I pick my local bookstore Skylark bookshop which is so lovely um, I'm gonna put a couple pictures in here because it's a gorgeous bookshop um, so I am gifting him these audiobooks but some of the proceeds from the sales will go to Skylark. So I absolutely love that. I think that's so cool. Um, a way to still kind of give a subscription or some audiobooks um, but also still supporting local. So I really hope he loves that. I'm a little like taking a little bit of a gamble because like I said he's never listened to audiobooks before but I think he will enjoy it if he gives it a chance. So I just think he needs a little push and so I'm giving that to him for Christmas. And if not I know he'll use the headphones because we all need headphones. All right, moving on to my mom. This is a local business that I absolutely adore and I really wanna highlight because they ship to all over the world, so you could check them out too. And that is a local paper kind of gift store company and it's One Canoe 2. They are similar to like a rifle paper company. They design gorgeous, gorgeous um, planners and stationery. They've even kind of branched out to some textiles. I know in some of my vlogs I've showed my ad advent calendar, which isn't it stunning? It is a One Canoe 2 item, but yes, they are a local um, papery to my area and I just love supporting them. They're fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So if you want to kind of find some cool stationery, definitely go check them out. I also get a 
monthly it's called high five it's a letter subscription service and every month I get five um, to six little notes from them and they have all different themes um, but they it's just to encourage to write letters and to send things to your loved ones I actually might see if I can find um, I have all the letters that I haven't used stuck so let me go see if I can find that okay so I'm showing you the back but they always come in these gorgeous designed um, little envelopes that I reuse like it has my address on it but I just tape over it and I will send things out in this because they're so lovely and this is a sampling of some of their letters because like I said I've used a lot of them and I actually took a break for a couple months because I was kind of getting a little backlogged but I've worked through some of them um, and so I'm should be getting another one in December but they just always usually send some cute birthday cards like this one will be perfect for a little one when I get to go to a little one's birthday this cute card it says we make a great pair you could send that to a friend to your hubby to your significant other like whoever it's just so cute but they're unique handmade hand-drawn um, and printed this one says oh hey there so cute um, this one says hello baby so it'll be going to um, when one of my friends has a little baby they will be getting a sweet little card and probably a Target gift card because <laughs> you just need to do a lot of Target runs when you have a new little one so yeah those are all the ones I have left right now like I said a new one she'll be coming and I might show that in like a vlog or a video when I get it um, but I just I love that subscription so I think that would be a lot of fun to give to someone they also have gorgeous holiday cards if you're looking to send some holiday or new year cards out they have gorgeous little sets but what I'm actually gifting to my my mom this year is one of their gorgeous textile bags I got a great sale they were having a wonderful sale and I they were having a holiday sale um, a while ago I don't know if it's still going on but it's this really cool tote and it's so thoughtfully designed there's a pocket here that you could put like a computer or a tablet and there's like the pretty inside they also have like an expansion on the side so you can button it or you can expand it if you need more stuff she's always like coming over to help with Judah and so she needs to pack a little overnight bag it also has this really cool insertable water bottle holder that's lined so you can put like a coffee mug with a lid or a water cup and it like if it spills it's cleanable which I really like um, you could even put like a little cold pack in there and maybe some like s cold snacks some cheese sticks I don't know <laughs> it's got a really nice zipper um, that you could put your phone in and then to a big pocket again you could put like a computer books whatever you want but I'm so excited it's this lovely green color they have all sorts of patterns they do backpacks um, but it's just a really lovely thoughtful bag um i bought myself one as well and i'm really enjoying it for like work stuff um i know people use them as their like gym bags but super functional cute again you can kind of close it and use it more as a purse my mom always has a huge purse but i think she's going to absolutely adore this and i can't wait for her to get it because i think she it's a really practical gift as well another thing they do is journals they have like pre-made calendar journals which I use because they have huge places to write and I have tons of appointments that I do for my work they do gorgeous bullet journals this is one of their 2021 prints and they have super heavy oh you can't really see the dots but like heavy um bleed proof paper and they also if you buy a bullet journal will give a free class along with it so I think that is so fun so please go check out one canoe too they are so lovely and they might not be local to you, but it would definitely be shopping small as they are a small, mostly woman run business. And we love that around here. So definitely go check them out. They're phenomenal. Tons of gifts, tons of gorgeous, gorgeous items to check out. So love them. Could not recommend enough. I've been purchasing them from, I've been purchasing from them for years and their stuff is super high quality and lovely. Okay, for something that's a little different, maybe like thinking a little outside of the box here, but that is yarn. <laughs> and so I've bought some gorgeous yarn from my local shop because I've just started knitting. I made this for myself, a little like earmuff head wrap. I'm so proud of it. And I plan to make one for my mother-in-law and for my mom. And so I bought my yarn from a local shop. Definitely check out and see if you have some yarn shops. Honestly, the prices on all of the yarn was super competitive 
comparable to other things that I was finding and it's just so much fun to like make connections with the business and support local so I got this gorgeous yellow um, kind of like a true gold this is like the college in our town it's the, the, like the gold color so I think that this is so fun and I'm going to knit one of those and then I also got this gorgeous kind of copper and it's kind of almost has like a green running through it but it's so pretty so I'm going to knit some of those for some Christmas presents um, and I just thought that it was an interesting way I know there's lots of knitters um, and it's so fun to be able to hand make a gift and so this is still a way to support a local shop while also getting to do your own little crafting next something that I plan to give to my brother-in-law we were supposed to get together and do a little bit of a social distanced dinner um, it didn't work out because they were getting a little nervous just with the uptick in cases and they're moving into a new home soon and they didn't want like any delays so this probably will be a new year's gift but i plan to um gift him a bag of locally roasted coffee beans this is three-story coffee this i've talked about tons of times is my favorite um, store you can definitely check them out but this is a video where I, again I want to encourage local shopping and shopping small locally and I think coffee is such a delicious and fresh gift and I love supporting locally roasted um, and, and ethically sourced coffee and definitely this company hits the bill for me they in my opinion roast the best coffee in my area it's super smooth and delicious to drink it smells delightful I love their shop and I love gifting coffee and I love gifting local coffee so I definitely highly recommend checking out your local coffee shops and seeing if they roast some yummy coffee maybe give it a try yourself and see if you want to gift it but I think it's so much fun especially like if you're traveling to bring a little piece of home um, for the holidays so I can't wait to give a bag of this he's like a super coffee coffee and tea connoisseur so I'm interested to see what he thinks but we have pretty similar taste I think we have discussed that we both like lighter roast and the Ethiopia is oh, so delicious as pour over so love this love this brand and love this as a gift I've I've probably given a bag of coffee at least every year since I've become an adult because it's just one of my favorite gifts to give all right, and then of course, I'm going to be giving someone a book. I'm going to be giving my sister-in-law still life and I am buying this from my local bookstore. I talked about Skylark earlier and I can't wait to gift this book. I think she's gonna really love it. It's a cozy, it's a mix between like a cozy and a little more of like a hard boiled mystery. The setting is super cozy and enveloping and I think that this will kind of maybe expand her reading a little bit and if she likes it there's tons and tons and tons more to get into so I can't wait to give that one to her but of course I'm also going to be gifting Judah some books and so I'm also buying the goodnight train from my local bookstore this is such a fun sweet story it's one of my favorites and Judah's it's all about this train kind of riding off to sleepy town and it is got a really rhythmic and you can kind of almost like read it as like a song or a lullaby and I really love that I also picked up two books while we were traveling so this maybe isn't as local to me but it was a shop small and local while I was traveling um, earlier this summer we went to a cabin and we got to stop at a local bookstore in the area that we were in and I bought him two books and so this was kind of a fun gift to give because I'll have these memories tied to when we are traveling. But again, it's shopping and supporting a local business, which we love to do. Also so much fun to see what curated books are chosen in bookstores because it's always unique and a little curated to where they, they're located at. One of these books is a little more like locally inspired to where we were visiting. This one is so gorgeous. It's How to Find a Bird, written by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Diana Sadika. It is so stunning and I love it because it's a little bit of like a nonfiction. Look at these end papers. Holy beautiful. Um, but yes, there's just gorgeous illustrations of birds. There's a page all about like what the birds say, like listening for the birds. Um, stunning, absolutely stunning. And Judah loves birds. He loves animals, <laughs> but he's always talking about the owls and the doves and things we're hearing when we're outside. So I think this will be a fun and educational one that'll kind of translate into his real world interests. And then this is also a gorgeous book. It's Hush Hush Forest. Um, and this one is stunning, all about a forest. 
just so gorgeous. Um, and I can't wait for him to, for us to enjoy these, both of these gorgeous ones. Oh, along with Goodnight Train, which is a favorite one that we've checked out from the library tons and tons of times, but one that I knew we wanted to own. And last but certainly not least is some bookish candles. Now this one's not local to me, but it's definitely a small business and it's called, it's a candle company called From the Page. And if you can't tell, they're a bookish candle company, which you know we love around here. I plan to give my sister a Book of the Month Club subscription and I'm also gonna be giving her a bookish candle because it's fun to have something to unwrap as well. And so I got her ancient library from From the Page, Candles for Bookish Souls. Isn't that lovely? So the notes in this are rosewood, oak, tonka, and oid. O-U-D, oid. Mm. It smells so delicious. Like, I wish, you know, take a sniff. But there is something very, like, academic and cozy about this. Also, these candles burn forever. Um, it's an eight ounce candle. I would say like the big Bath and Body Works candles, like I get about the same level of burning from both. And also this is just a one wick, but it fills the room. Such delicious and the scents are so, I don't know, they're not overpowering, but they have such a depth of smell to them. Like I'm, I'm not a, a scent person like I don't I don't know how to explain notes and all that kind of stuff but I've purchased many a order from these candles I want to show some of the other holiday ones they have just for funsies because when I was placing an order you know of course we had to sneak a few into our cart I have reading by the fire fireside and cinnamon chai this one it's so it's got that like cinnamon sweet chai but then it does have that smoky smell. So it's not overpoweringly sweet, but it's not like gonna give you a headache um, because it's so sweet, but because it has that depth of kind of like smoky smell to it. This one is so good. I can't wait to burn it. And just, just the coat, like reading by the fireside. Like I feel like she does evoke such um, feelings with her scents and I love that. We also have the Orient Express, which is tobacco, gin, cypress, and cedar. Oh, this one is so good. It's so good. I, I can't explain it. There's kind of a, like a perfumey old time train smell to it. I don't, I don't know, but it's, I can't wait to burn it. Again, her holiday scents aren't like overly in your face holiday. They're very subtle, but I also kind of like that. So. I decided that I really like cedar. She has a couple with cedar that I bought like from her fall collection and I've decided that's a note I really like. This was also a monthly one, so I don't know for how long, I don't know how long this one will be around, but this is probably my favorite um, that I bought and it's High Storms, Balsam, Patchouli, Moss, Amber, and Fur. This one, guys, it smells incredible. It's clean, like it's got that clean um, tree smell but then also that depth because of the patchouli and the moss and the amber. Like, I don't know how she does it. Phenomenal. This one smells Christmassy, but very light. Like I feel like I could burn it all winter and not feel like overwhelmed. Such a good candle. And then one that I have already burned <laughs> because obviously not giving this one as a gift because I could not help myself. It's March Family Christmas Cookies, Citrus, Apple Cider, and Pine. Again, you can see that I burned it and you can see the cute little, um, glitters that she puts in some of them this is mm, it smells so good I really like pine but it can get very overwhelming it can almost kind of choke me up a little bit so I love that she's mixing it with other notes so that it's not overwhelming there is something like Christmassy about this because of like the sweet the cookie the citrus mm, smells so good <laughs> I can't wait to finish burning this one up I love it so those are all of the ways that I'm shopping local and shopping small this season and what I'm gifting to some of my loved ones. Of course, like I said, I've bought other things um, from online realtors, um, but when I can, I do like to support local businesses and these are ones that I can highly recommend that I've shopped from before. You saw that I had some sneaky little treats that I bought myself as well. So I can give my stamp of approval to all of these. I can't wait to see what my loved ones think of them and I'd love to know how you're shopping small. What, what are some unique shops and stores and things that you like to give that are local to you? I would love to know. So much for watching. I hope that you're having a lovely day and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>